Ding, 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 ding. Welcome back, my friend. This is Vita Brick Quick. My name is Byron. We're talking about jujitsu. We're talking about building teammates. The people on your on the mat with you are not just your grappling uh, rivals. They're not just uh, your opponent. They're not your opponents. They're your teammates. How do you build that? Because many people <laughs> really don't feel that. They don't experience that. Let's build teammates. Uh, ask someone for guidance. I'm doing this every time. If 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 I get submitted by something perfectly fine. <laughs> if I get submitted with it twice, I'm having I have questions about that. If I get surprised by something that you did, I'm gonna ask about it. If this is a perfect example, I've been working the certain guard pass, it's been going pretty good. I've had some success. Uh, you know, it start, started with my, uh, you know, the start with the minus, works on the equals. I've even passed a few guards that I usually can't pass with it. Got my buddy Gary. I, I feel pretty confident with this. Lock up this pass, start working, and he sweeps me. <laughs> what? I can't hardly believe it. He made it, and the sweep happened so fast. I I was like getting hunkered into my system and like I was in the system. It was going to be great. Gary is not going to stand a chance. And I get swept. <laughs> He's done this to me a couple of times. That's just something. So what kind of a fool would I be to, to, to stand up and, you know, finish the round and walk away? Gary knows something that I don't. Gary knows something that my other training partners don't don't know, that they can't do, or that aren't doing. I guess is some way to say that. they probably could do it if they knew it. I've got to ask about that. The sweet thing about this, okay, you could go, and I'm a big advocate of offline training. You know, like go to BJJ Fanatics and or Budo videos or whatever, and 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 getting some stuff from really good. Uh, professionals and coaches and instructionals and 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 really dive into that system. That is, I've learned a lot from that. Recommend it as long as you're not kind of uh, getting something that's a little too complicated for your 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 level of experience. Maybe just because it sounds cool. Uh, but if you're if you're able to get something that's a good match for you, that's great. The thing about this is when. Somebody does something to your game, <laughs> takes it apart, or just throws you a weird wrench into the gears. That's your game. When you're learning something online or watching something on YouTube, that's not your game. It might be like your game. You might be experiencing parts of that. But when Gary dismantled my guard pass with a little hip movement and like almost, he made it so easy. He did that to my game that I had been developing. There's nobody that I wanted to talk to more than, than Gary that moment. It's like, man, what was that? You figured something out easily against me. It's, it's like a key and a lock. Like, <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't, I don't uh, re-edit these things at all. So I just, we were stuck with that analogy. But he fi- he's got an answer to what I'm, I'm throwing at him that nobody else has really had. And I don't really have an answer to like his, what he, what he did. I have to know what he did. I have to try it. So like, so Gary swept me, boom. Uh, I don't remember if we finished the role or not, but after the role, or maybe right there, I like, I laughed and I was like, man, I got to see that again. Do it again. Can I try it on you, Gary? Show me how you did it. Boom. How would I avoid it? Okay. Like if I were just to say, Oh, that sweep doesn't work on Gary. Or that guard pass doesn't work on Gary. What a waste of an opportunity to learn something. You've got to be asking your teammates questions when they hit you something uh, and, it, and it works well against you. Um, when, when your best move you know, goes up there and it just falls apart. What happened? <laughs> they know what happened. It didn't happen on accident. They did something very specific, and it targeted your game directly. Now, it's I understand that maybe some people wouldn't tell you. That's not in the culture of jujitsu. 
we're fortunate here. Jiu-Jitsu has a very good culture as far as if you ask me a question, I'm going to give you the best answer I can. <laughs> Occasionally, I'll get somebody who says, I don't really know what happens. <laughs> I used to tell – I used to do this guard pass, and people say, how do I stop it? It's like I really don't have – um, you know, try to create some distance, try to get your hips free. This, you know, just general advice and maybe a little advice about avoiding the setup. Um, but I really didn't have much until Gary did this. And I was like, well, I know a guy who could, who could sweep me <laughs> by just grabbing a good old overhook and, and, and adjusting his hips and, and doing a few other things. Like, okay, now I have an answer for them. I'm going to start getting more people to do what Gary did. I'm going to understand what he did from an aspect of being able to do that if I were to grapple against myself. And now when I try to pass Gary's guard, my center of gravity is going to have to change. I'm going to have to change um, a couple of other you know, smaller details that aren't worth getting into. And maybe he won't sweep me. But when he does sweep me, he'll tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> if you don't have training partners like this, you're missing out. You, and, and all you have to do is ask them. And if they say, ah, I'll tell you later, or I can't tell you that, or you'd pass my guard. Either you could, you know, write them off as a potential training partner or <laughs> we just try to change their mind a little bit about jiu But the odds are, in on the mats here, people like to help each other. People like to feel valued. I talked about the last episode. They want to feel like they're helping people get better at jiu-jitsu. This is a hard activity, and if you can make it a little easier for somebody else, you feel good about that. As long as you're grateful and you thank them uh, for what they're showing you and, and for their time, they're going to help you out. And also be willing to help out other people when they ask you questions. <laughs> if you have enjoyed this podcast, uh, would appreciate the support on Patreon or go by the BJ Brick uh, shop there and uh, check out an audiobook. I say check out, it's not really like a library. <laughs> <laughs> download an audiobook that helps support the podcast. They're, they're very reasonable prices there. Hope you have a great day. Hope you share a little knowledge or get some knowledge uh, shared to you. And stay sweaty, my friend. <laughs>